What's up guys, we're back with another educational video and this week we're talking about a new study that came out looking at the effects of resistance training on symptoms of depression and anxiety. But first, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment for the algorithm. So there was a recent study published looking at the effects of resistance training on markers of depression and anxiety in people who had like mild depression versus people who were basically not depressed, either were subclinical or healthy. And the intervention was eight weeks long. It was two sessions per week, an average of 25 minutes. They had them do eight different exercises like barbell squat, bench press, uh, trap bar deadlift, curls, some other things. And they basically just had them push until their form broke down or they couldn't do another rep between eight to 12 reps. And when they got to 12 reps, they had them increase the weight by 5% and do the same thing. Let's just break this down for a second before we get into the results. Two times a week, 25 minutes a session, 50 minutes a week total. So if we do that math, basically you're looking at about 13 hours and 20 minutes of total work done on average over 16 weeks. Less than an hour a week of basic resistance training. Not only did they see improvements, these effect sizes were impressive. A moderate effect size is like a Cohen's D of like a 0.5. You know, small is like 0.3. Large is considered above a 0.8. We're talking about effect sizes above one. Okay, now an effect size measures how clinically relevant and powerful is an effect. So we are talking about very clinically powerful effects of resistance training on symptoms of depression and anxiety. Now the interesting thing is, the results apply to not just people who were diagnosed with depression and anxiety, but people who weren't. They still had improvements. They didn't exclude people if they had a resistance training history, but basically nobody had a resistance training history that they recruited, so it ended up working out. So I'm not saying like, hey, if you're training right now, if you go to like two sessions or 25 minutes, all of a sudden it's gonna fix your depression. Like there's nothing magical about this protocol these people are going from not moving their bodies to now moving their bodies. Now, here's what's crazy. This effect size is greater than what they see with medication. I don't want people to hear this and get it twisted. I'm not saying to not take medication for depression or anxiety or anything like that. Some people need that and get a lot of help from that. However, for 50 minutes a week, you can get really powerful effects from this. And maybe it's something where we need to see studies where they're doing both. Maybe there's a synergistic effect. That would be great. But the take home is we have for too long tried to separate what happens above the neck and what happens below the neck. And you cannot separate the two. What happens in the mind affects the body. We see this in pain science. We see it with autoimmune disorders. People with more psychological stress have greater risk of cardiovascular disease, greater risk of cancer, greater risk of autoimmune disease, more likely to have chronic pain. It is in your mind, but what you do in your mind, the psychological stress in your mind, transfers into your body. I can even tell you anecdotally, in my life, when I have been in a very, very stressed state, and I took action to get out of that state, in this case, leaving a personal relationship that was causing me a lot of stress, not only did I feel less stressed, I immediately got stronger in the gym and not by a little bit. I'm talking about a lot and I was actually still sleeping less as well. I was only getting like six hours of sleep a night. But I, my strength went up by like 5% within about a one month period. It was crazy. And I realized it's because I was recovering better because my body wasn't vibrating all the time, right? Like I didn't feel like I was on edge all the time. What happens in the mind affects the body. What happens in the body affects the mind. It is the great dichotomy of life. If you want your life to be easier, you must do hard things. You must do hard things with your body. If you do easy things, your life will be hard. Whatever makes it easier in the short term, video games, Netflix, eating junk food, not being active, will make it harder in the long term. Type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, cancer, death, stress. And when you exercise regularly, without realizing it, you are keeping a promise to yourself over and over again. 
Even when you do it when you don't feel like it, you are keeping a promise over and over to yourself. And whether you know it or not, that builds confidence. I can tell you today I stand here a pretty darn confident person and a lot of it has to do with resistance training. Now it wasn't because I got big biceps and I got really strong. Sure, that stuff helped, but it was the consistent showing up even when I don't, didn't want to, even when it was hard, even when I went through a lot of injuries and getting through all of that made me realize, wow, if I can get through that, I can do other hard things. And I always tell people, when I can lift heavy, the weight of the world seems lighter. I don't think you need more information to tell you to go out and lift weights. I just, if, if, if everything out there, like decrease risk of, I don't know, dying, decrease risk of cardiovascular disease, decrease risk of fractures, decrease risk of type two diabetes, uh, improvements in body composition, you look sexier, better confidence, better mental health, what? more information do you need before you realize it's time to pick up some weight, all right? And it doesn't have to be intense. It doesn't have to be crazy like what I do where I'm going in and squatting over 600 pounds two times a week, 25 minutes, that's it. Don't tell me you don't have time. Don't tell me you don't have time. I realize it is hard to do things when you are depressed. In fact, I just put up a story about this today. But if you only do what you feel like doing, you will never do anything worth a in your life because anything that's worth a is going to require you to do hard, difficult things. And here's the rub. If it wasn't hard and difficult, it wouldn't feel meaningful. If anybody could just tomorrow click their fingers and have a great physique and everybody had great physiques, guess what? It wouldn't mean anymore. No one would care anymore. It wouldn't be a status symbol anymore because it's not the physique. It's what it represents. Sacrifice, hard work, dedication, showing up. And yes, there are people with great physiques who resist to train regularly who are depressed as hell and have mental health problems. For sure. It's not a cure. It's not a cure. But I can promise you those people will be much worse off if they hadn't done those sorts of things. Now there's, there's extreme circumstances, people with body dysmorphia, those sorts of things. Of course, I don't want to paint with too broad a brush. But what you can do to almost immediately improve your life. Move your body, lift things, do hard things, keep your promises to yourself, eat well. It is a, not a vicious cycle, it's a beautiful cycle because as you eat well and train hard, your body will improve, your health will improve, your mind will improve, which makes you even more likely to do more of those things and then it becomes a nice, beautiful circle where you're doing this over and over because you are seeing what happens. But you have to start before you feel like doing it. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Now, if you don't know where to start, make sure to check out the BioLane Workout Builder. We do have beginner programs on there available. We have intermediate, we have advanced programs, whether it's building muscle, uh, building strength, doing both female specific focused programs. We have all those, we have at home programs. So if you're looking to take the next step or the first step in your resistance training journey, make sure to click the link, check out the BioLane Workout Builder.